Hello my friends, welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist of paints on clothes. And this video I decided to make a bit more relaxing. <laughs> I will show you the slow process of creating a hand-painted custom t-shirt. And I want to talk to you about some important things in clothes customization. I want to talk to you about five things I wish I knew as a beginner clothes customizer. T-shirt which I'm creating in this video uh, is going to be very meaningful and you know how I love to create meaningful designs. It's going to be about beauty, about this beauty, about beauty standards. Yeah, it's going to be very, very meaningful. So first I bleached T-shirt and now I start painting. So five things I wish I knew. Uh, many of you know me as a professional clothes customizer, as a person who is able to create very complicated designs on clothes and make it look so easy. But uh, seven years ago, I was just a beginner, uh, as many of you. I didn't know how to paint, I didn't know what to paint, uh, I was so anxious. And even now it's not so easy to find information on how to paint on clothes, what to paint on clothes. But seven years ago it was near impossible to find any information and I had to figure out everything myself. And I've made a lot of mistakes. Uh, and you know, some things uh, I figured out pretty fast that it's not a good idea to use acrylics for painting on clothes or that it's not a good idea uh, to paint on dark clothes without white base layer but some things took a lot of time for me to understand uh, I wish somebody told me, somebody showed me so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about five the most important things I wish I knew as a beginner clothes customizer so first thing I wish I knew that there are so many styles in clothes customization and that there are so many possibilities in clothes customization. Uh, you know, when you want to start painting with watercolor paints or with oil paints, first of all you search for inspiration. Uh, you can find a lot of inspiration in art history, like you can find artists who were creating artworks with oil paints like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, like Da Vinci or Van Gogh, or you can find a lot of inspiration in modern art. Now you can just search on Instagram, you can just write a hashtag oil paints, watercolor paints, and you will find a lot of amazing talented artists and all of them with their interesting different styles. So you are able to understand like what you are able to do, what are the possibilities, what are the different styles. And you can understand what is the level you are able to reach, like if you will work hard and so on. Uh, but when I was just starting to paint on clothes seven years ago, uh, there were just a few artists who I could find who were also painting on clothes. And when there are not so many artists, you can't quite understand like what are the possibilities, like what you can do, what is the level you are able to reach. Like, inspiration is so important like in any art, uh, so without inspiration you are not able to move forward. And without understanding what is close customization, I was trying to approach close customization as an artist. And I was trying to see all clothes as canvases. Like, I have a t-shirt, what is t-shirt, rectangular canvas. What I can do on a rectangular canvas? I can paint a flower at the center of it. Or, like, I have a back side of a denim jacket, which is also like a rectangular canvas. What I can do on it? I can paint some small animal at the center of the canvas. But clothes are not canvases. And to be a good clothes customizer, you should be not only an artist, but also a designer. You should understand how to design clothes. And you should see, like, clothes and the whole pieces with their sleeves, with their collars, with their back side, front side, hem. Like you can do a lot of things using all the areas of clothes. And seeing clothes as a rectangular canvases, you kind of are limiting yourself, limiting your possibilities in clothes customization. Second thing I wish I knew that there are so many techniques in clothes customization and clothes customization is not just uh, taking fabric paints and painting something with fabric paints. There are a lot of other things which you can do with your clothes and a lot of effects you can create on your clothes. For example, you can bleach 
your clothes first and then paint on them. Uh, you can dye your clothes first and then you can paint on them. You can create gradient effect on your denim jacket using bleaching and dyeing technique. Uh, you can use spray paint, you can use uh, outliners, you can use watercolor effect technique like mixing uh, fabric paints with water and create watercolor backgrounds. You can uh, paint on patches, you can uh, mix painting directly on clothes with patches. So, so many things which you can do, but uh, seven years ago I didn't know any of that. And as I said, there weren't artists who could show me all these techniques and, and all the possibilities I have with these techniques and what kind of amazing and interesting clothes I can create using these techniques. So on my channel I try to show you all the possibilities, all the techniques uh, so you can create more interesting, more creative clothes because as I've already mentioned in one of my videos uh, there is no English speaking community of artists who paint on clothes because there are not so many artists, uh, English speaking artists who paint on clothes uh, so I know that for many people it's still hard to find inspiration but in Russia, and I am from Russia, uh, this art, clothes customization art, has become very popular and for the last two years a lot of artists have started to paint on clothes so now it's much easier for me to find inspiration and to learn new techniques because a lot of artists experiment uh, and a lot of artists discover new techniques and they share their experiments on Instagram so I can easily find all the information and I try to share all the information with you on my channel. And third thing I wish I knew that you can paint on all kinds of fabrics. Seven years ago I thought that it's impossible to paint on some kinds of fabrics, but yeah, you can paint on all kinds of fabrics, uh, but you should approach uh, each fabric in a different way. Uh, you should understand fabric, what you can do on it, what you can't do on it. For example, you can paint on knitted fabrics, you can customize your cardigan, sweater, beanie, but you won't be able to create complicated designs on such fabrics. You can create something simple, graphic, but don't try to create some realistic artwork because it will be a disaster, it will just ruin your clothes. Or if you want to paint on leather clothes, Again, there are some tips that you should degrease the leather first, that you should uh, use special paints, that you should uh, use special uh, finisher. And I remember I made a mistake and I used a varnish for acrylics uh, as a last layer and then my artwork became so sticky and it was so sad. So yeah, leather requires some knowledge too. You can paint on a nylon fabric, like a puffer jacket, but you shouldn't uh, iron it to set paints, but you should use hair dryer, because with iron you will just ruin your puffer jacket. You can paint on thin fabrics, like very thin t-shirt fabric, but you shouldn't use paints with a good coverage you shouldn't apply too many layers of paint because your artwork will become so stiff and it won't be comfortable for you to wear such t-shirt that you can use paints uh, for light fabrics which don't have very good coverage or you can create some watercolor artwork with watercolor effect technique you can paint on stretch fabrics and I get a lot of messages with questions can I paint on stretch jeans or stretch t-shirts yes you can but again there are some things which you need to know you shouldn't create complicated realistic artworks on such fabrics you need to create something simple something graphic with one maximum two layers of paint because if you put too much paint too many layers your artwork will become stiff and while stretching fabric your artwork will crack uh, so the less paint you use the softer your artwork will be and that way you will prevent it from cracking while stretching fabric yeah, you are able to customize all kinds of clothes, you can paint on all kinds of fabrics and understanding each fabric is the key of your success. And next thing I wish I knew how to sell hand painted clothes. You know, I don't talk much uh, on my channel about hand paint clothes business, how to sell, because I'm not quite in the business now, uh, because uh, my main focus is my YouTube channel now. I think more about what kind of videos to make then how to sell clothes 
but seven years ago of course my main focus was how to sell clothes I create and my mistake was that I tried to sell hand-painted t-shirts hand-painted sweatshirts because of course it was easier for me to buy basic t-shirts and sweatshirts to paint on uh, but the problem is that when people don't quite understand what is hand paint clothes it's hard to find customers who will buy hand painted t-shirt you will have to prove that this t-shirt is unique that this is an art and it will be hard for you to find a customer who will pay a reasonable price for a t-shirt it's much easier to find a customer for a denim jacket custom denim jacket and yeah, you will spend the same amount of time, like it's no difference for you as for an artist to paint on a t-shirt or to paint on a denim jacket, but it's much easier to find customer for a denim jacket. Like people see denim jacket as more such statement piece and they are ready to spend more money on jackets, on denim jackets. And then, yeah, of course, it's a bit more difficult to buy such basic denim jackets to paint on when you don't have any customers and you just need to create, you know, portfolio but i can give you an advice uh, don't buy new jackets but buy jackets in a thrift store because sustainability is a new trend and i love to see that it's a trend people begin to understand the value of sustainable clothes and if you can give them sustainable clothes and unique clothes it will be even more valuable for them and the last thing I wish I knew that perfection is a bad thing. Like in clothes customization and like in anywhere. T-shirt which I created in this video is also about perfection, about society which tries to impose us perfection rules and beauty standards. But actually like imperfection is more interesting. Like it's more interesting to see different interesting faces with different interesting features than seeing you know all the same faces with the same big lips and small noses and like imperfection is uniqueness stain which you accidentally put on your clothes some imperfect line or some imperfect brush stroke like all these things give a character to your design give a uniqueness give emotions and my main advice of this video don't try to reach some perfection which actually like doesn't exist like what is perfection like don't think about perfection but think about uniqueness try to create unique design interesting with your character with your emotions like uniqueness is the most important thing in cost customization not a perfection and I hope guys this video was useful for you, I hope you enjoyed it and as always I ask for your support for your likes and comments and I hope you liked the t-shirt which I created in this video, very meaningful and very unique t-shirt. And here is the final result. Thank you.